I was born ready. Woke up ready. Did you wake up on all the sides? No. Yes. It's gonna be a short video, you guys, because I am hungry. 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 You don't want to see me hangry. Like you did yesterday. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? It is another cold, crappy, rainy day here in Dallas, Texas, United States of America. Over here in Dallas, Texas. I'll tell you what. Tell you what. Hopefully we got the DIY guy coming and checking us out. The I DIY guess. guy? Glitter pubes. Long time no sir. Glitter lovers. Huh? Glitter lovers. Oh. Yeah. That's not GP. Sorry, I just saw glitter. What's up, glitter lovers? We love glitter too. Stash. What's up, Denise? Having a good day at work? I was just watching your Sunday video. It's freezing here in Sydney. Will you help to make it to Sydney this coming year? Fingers uh, crossed. And I hear that uh, over there in Africa that it's fairly pretty new. Hopefully we can get some, uh, get some good artwork out of you guys this coming year. I'd love to see some South Africa artwork. How about that? They have such awesome like sunsets to be inspired by. Right, Denise? Isn't the round by Tia just bananas? I couldn't stop thinking about it. And so I got her permission to do an ATD version so that y'all are going to freeze your butts off in Grant's pants. I know we need to start like getting winter clothes together. Because we don't, I don't have that many. What's up, Miss Vandenberg? So, I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Denise. At least it's not like a carbon monoxide leak in your house anymore. Because that wasn't fun. So, we are taking a poll on the ATD page to see what sizes and colors you guys would like in the hoodies. This is actually not this reddish looking. It's actually more pink, but life. So... Oh, Tia's in the house. What's up, Tia? So I'm going to do my best to do our ATD style of yours. I haven't asked you how you did it. I haven't asked you what materials you used or anything about it. I'm just going to give it a shot. And you know, it's literally impossible to exactly replicate anything in resin. And I don't want to replicate your piece, even though it is the most lovely thing. Um... I just want to do our style of your piece. Um, this is a round that I've had for a while since we used to do like um, ottoman trays and things like that, cheese platters. Let me get you guys a better view of what I'm working with. This is what I'm going to be pouring on today. And it's one that we've had before, so I'm not gonna prep it. I just spray painted it black, white, back to white. Um, if you are pouring on wood and it's not treated or sealed, make sure that you use like a polycrylic or a base, like a bonding primer to make sure that you don't have any bubbles come through because it is a real kick in the teeth when you have something that's really beautiful and you can't get these little bubbles to stop popping up. What's up in the Outback? Judy! Even we just started, no worries. And I just put my glove on upside down. Y'all, I'm driving the struggle bus today. Have you guys ever embedded anything in resin? 
like paper or beads, etc. I we've done um, leafing. Maybe we make this camera focus. Never mind, it just came back to life. Um, we've done leafing and crystals, mm -hmm. glass, stickers, paper. If you look at our geo videos and our coaster videos, we show how we like do inlays and things like that. Can I pour a resin on canvas? Just said it is from the shop. No priming. Thank you both. The thing about that is most canvases direct from a store. Can you give me an open canvas? Are fairly loose. So it's best to put some prep on it. I have one right here. I don't know. Probably can't see it, but you can if you put any kind of pressure at all it dips in and resin's fairly heavy so you don't want anything like this so i would recommend and then it leaves like dips after you push on it so it's you can hear it that's no good so it's best to prep them we have a couple prep videos up How do you get the wood panel beautiful round? Um, this one we just got from Home Depot. I think this size is like $22 US. It is probably roughly a 24 round. I don't even think they're that much. I think they're cheaper than that. It might be. I think the 12 inch are like $12. Maybe it's $8. I don't know. You can get them there. The thing about these are they're Super solid, therefore super heavy. Missy Jeff did one of those recently. And so um, I'm working with someone right now. I actually have a conference call with them after the live feed to get some custom cradle board style rounds for you guys. But I will update that at a later date. You want this on this camera? Um, I was about to. Gray zippy hoodie with different colored string that matches the ATD logo would be cool. That yeah, would be cool. I, I was going to put a white fat lace in here. I don't know why it's not focusing. I think it's coming back to life. There it is. Do it. I'd buy the shit out of some rounds from you guys. Aaron, thank you. Um... So, okay, I need to order some more big buckets, too. Yeah. Mallory, I am completely behind on my emails. I have like three days left to go through. Um, so I apologize. We were out of the country and so I couldn't answer all of them. Um, in a timely manner so that's a fail on my part but i will get through all of them promise let me write down your name though so i can just search it out mallory Richardson. Okay. So here we go. Today we're going to use Art Coat. Where am I? I'm right here. Yeah. By Stone Coat. We still have the um, code up. Just use ATD in all capitals. And you can get. $30 off your $80 order, which is an insane discount. 
They asked us if we wanted to carry. Um, Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you very much. They asked us if we wanted to carry their resin in house, which would be awesome, but I wouldn't be able to afford that kind of discount for you guys. So we have. Just let them take care of that. Yeah, we'll let them handle the resin stuff until there comes a time where they don't do that code anymore. We'll continue to just direct you guys to them. However, we are going to start carrying this and that and the gold dust for you guys so that everyone overseas can just add it to their order if they wish. There's Lars. Lars, uh, she's gonna try to attempt the uh, picture in the lower right hand part of the screen. Should be interesting, should be fun. Tia's in here, um, the girl that created that piece. Oh, okay. I made sure to her, ask her permission. Did she put her uh, page up? Does she have a page on YouTube or where, where did you find that at? Um, she had included it in our ocean competition and ATD's poor people. Aaron said, I'll buy that. Out of that, this and that. She's just buying the shit out of shit all Babe, over the place. Babe, you're not supposed to say it. You're supposed to say it. You should buy the shit out of it. Oh. I just push, I'll just push no next time. What's up, <laughs> Petra? <laughs> Kelly Quincy, what's up? Kelly Quincy is who bought our first glow in the dark galaxy. Uh huh. Okay. And his favorite color is lime green. And he has really bad luck with cell phones. Definitely gonna need two of these. Anyway, so the colors that I'm using today are bronze powder by Just Resin. I don't have this in stock yet. I do have it in a paste, but I'm using the powder today. Because if you see in hers, there's like, it looks like ridges in the bronze and around some of the cells. That mainly happens with powders. I'm also using blue tur turpaz. That's not words. Blue topaz tint from Color Obsession. I believe I have this in stock that black and blue sapphire from just resin also um, wait. he said all means by all means transfer to different container it's easier to open it. who said something today about the containers for the tent Somebody has some code about putting the, I don't know, the tent in the containers. Oh, I'm thinking, uh, Monty. This and that. About the containers for a tent. They said, by all means, transfer to a different container that's easier to open. Um, we're going to talk with them about different size containers. So in my version of Tia's piece, I just want to get a base blue down. This is a little bit more blue than hers. A little bit more turquoisey, but I'm gonna put a tint over it anyways. I just wanna have some base down. Is that her right there, Tia? Mm hmm Somebody wants to know about, Aaron wants to know about dark turquoise. Just resin bright golden yet. Um, the bright gold from Just Resin is in customs right now in Chicago. It should be cleared today, so I'll have it in the next couple of days. And the dark turquoise is on order with Color Obsession. Our package should go out by them in the morning, I believe. 
What's up, Nicole? Yeah, there is a lot of difficulty in opening the, the base tents. We've talked to Mike about it. Um, it's just really expensive for them to change the containers all the way around because they still sell to a lot of contractors that do Let's see. countertops. Working on it though. Okay. I'm gonna um, make a thing for Tia so we can come back so people can see it. So what is it? So in Tia's piece, she really didn't have a lot of. It looks like tint is what was mainly used, or maybe an ink. I am going to um, use a sparkly paste to add just something different. Typically, I would never add so much of a metallic, but she made it work. Therefore, I'm inspired to try to make it work. And I'm going to need more of this. So right now, these colors were 10 ounces. I think I'm going to make another eight. Also, y'all, our next class is going to be November 17th and 18th. If you are in and around town or would like to come or whatever, we welcome y'all sorry I'm not reading I'm trying to make this little thing for Tia to put up here. thank you Jen So if you guys are new at resin, I feel like I have to tell you to make sure you measure accurately and evenly. If your resin is one-to-one, -one, that means it is equal parts, both A and B. Some resins are two-to-one. I haven't seen anything past two-to-one, but I'm sure it's out there. Um, and make sure you completely mix both parts because if you slack on that, your piece may have weak spots. We get emails every other day about people that have a spot in their painting that never set and that's from not fully incorporating both parts a and b so make sure you strip the bottom the sides and your stir stick to make sure that everything is evenly mixed into itself yolanda i wouldn't i wouldn't spray paint wood to seal it um i would just get some uh, just some flat white house paint just roll a couple layers on I mean one would probably do just depending on how thick you put it on um, and then spray paint that yeah or you can get some poly acrylic from Home Depot pour that on put it on with the one of those little foam brushes and that gets definitely in all the little cracks and crannies and it seals it uh, pretty well as well We haven't used this blue sapphire in a while and it's separated just a little bit, which is common with highly pigmented paste and colors. Just stir it up. If it's really thick or it looks dried out, just close the lid back really tight and give it a hot water bath. Kelly Frost ordered some pigments on the 12th. Have you had time to ship it yet? Will you write her name down? I'll check that for you as soon as this feed is over.
You have a painting coming your way too, I, I believe. There we go. Now it's back to normal. You can also hit it with a heat gun for a second. That will also. Nicole said she got our first heat gun burn today. I feel like I should be inclined, included in some kind of club for that. Where where did you get where'd you get hit with a heat gun? I thought about doing that, doing like everybody that has one of these burns club, but I don't want people going out and branding themselves. So yeah, I've just shied said she away gave from up that. on resin. I keep getting the <clears throat> corners where they are. It's growing. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but tired of wasting resin. Eva, I'm sorry. If you send me a picture of what's going on, we can try to figure out what's going on with it. It's a good looking color up there. And now that blue sapphire is money. Money. It looks like a little bit bluer than hers, so I think it'll look good. Well, I don't, I don't want to exactly replicate it. I'm kind of doing like the ATD version. Gotcha. One. To take the pressure off of me for exactly replicating and two that's impossible to exactly replicate how does that look so light right there not a bad idea rachel can resin leave a chemical burn on your skin? Mallory, it actually can. Jeff used to get them all the time with um, art resin, and we call it resin rash. It is not a good time, but it's fairly common with some resins. I use a lot of powder when I use powders. I was gonna say I wouldn't use it. That stuff is, it's very, uh, very opaque, very intense. I know, but it does what I want it to when I have more. It looks like I'm doing the cinnamon challenge over here. It just looks like a big cup of cinnamon. Also, to avoid plumes of powder in your studio, just put the, the color, the powder in your cup first, or just top it off. Hi from France. Well, hello there, Isabelle. Au revoir, y'all. Fairy dust art, it's better late than not showing up. We don't mind at all. all. Right. Yeah, let's get some thumbs up, people. Let's get some thumbs up. All the thumbs up. Bam, 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 bam. <clears throat> Laura Taylor, how are you today? Yeah. Val. We definitely do try to paint every day. It's well, we I we even, have to paint. I every even day. want them to put that in it. Don't hold it by the lid. I'm not. Like I even want them to put that in a different container. 
I'm using that black base tint. Trudy, I'm just hungry. And I think my body is still trying to be on uh, Australian time because I literally went to bed at 5 a.m. last night. Like I was up completely awake watching TV. And I don't like that. I hate being up that late. All right. I'm going to put some clear in this area and just smooth some over the rest of this. This is to help my resin flow over the surface of the board more easily. Be cautious that if you use a lot of powders and then you use a lot of heat, your colors can dilute because they're mixing with all the clear that you laid down. So if you're gonna use a lot of uh, powders, make sure that you're using a very thin, minimal amount of a clear coat. If you wanna create some kind of depth, use a thicker layer of clear and um, just make sure you manipulate it a lot less than you would otherwise. You can always add some heat to get it to move across the surface more easily. I bet Tia's watching at home like, girl, you're already way off. Not really sure the mechanics of how she did hers, so we're we're it's a wing and a prayer. Is that the saying? Wing and a prayer. I don't understand that. What is that? I have no idea. Hello, Rusty. Welcome to the room today. Okay. I need to see that picture. So this is our oh. bronze. It's a little bit more brown than what she used, so obviously she used more of a gold. So that'll be different. You put in black. Do what? Are you laughing at me? Just trust the process, B. Trust my process. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. We're gonna find out together, shall we? We shall. Okay, so then there's some black. I just, I just want to see, like, did she record how she did hers? Um, I don't know. You can ask her. <clears throat> I would love for her to, like, comment. She's in here. Oh, I know. That's what I'm saying. How far off am I, Tia? All the way off? Completely off? My she rocker? Said no, Jeff. She didn't record it. Oh, a wing in her prayer is what pilots say when they lose their engines and have to land without them. I'll learn something new every day. They should say two wings in a prayer because I think if they're on one wing. It may not work out so well. They might, uh, might be a little different. <laughs> Man. Let it happen. I know. I, I, you're gonna, I know you're going to kill it. Like, you do everything else, babe.
I have plenty of resin left over to add or subtract or science in a minute. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is that, evaluate that how often. Fourth I am. color was a tint, right? Yeah, that's a tint. So she's got bronze, that, that black, black, blue sapphire, blue sapphire, and tropical seas. And tropical no. sea no. Blue topaz. That's green. Sorry. Yeah, blue topaz. Which is still a little bit aqua, but let's add some heat to where we're at. This may just end up in the nailed it series as a not nailed it. Nailed it Tuesday. I think we did the goldfish on a Tuesday. So I'm just popping all the little air bubbles. She looks like she used three colors. That would be hilarious if you said, I used one color, but that's how it works. Uh, that would be funny. So I Yikes, need... I accidentally bought stone coat, quick coat, gap, and seam filler. That's fine. It's the same stuff. It just comes with that little bag of powder. It looks like a drug dealer snuck in your box. Mm -hmm. It's pretty funny. You don't have to put that in there if you don't want to. That just That's just a thickener. Thickener upener. It thickens it up. That's what she said. <laughs> My background is painted silver. Oops. Yeah. Well, I'm already <laughs> way off. Samsonite. I think she's going to try to do one of her swipes. I am. I'm going to manipulate this side of it just with um, the heat gun. Val says, I love the way your accent sounds when you say thick or thickener. Accent. What do you mean, mate? I don't got an accent. <laughs> Maybe just slightly. I'm gonna move out of the way for this one. I got I got good pants on and good shoes on. Hey, don't be afraid of being in the splash zone. <laughs> Let it happen. I think I need some clear in here. You know, that's just gonna separate it. I know, but I wanna... She's a mad woman. I told you, trust the process. Take the edges. Ah, that's what she did. You remember how, I, like, whenever I don't like it when it's straight and then it builds up on the sides because it's taped up mm -hmm. and then it goes back and it has those wrinkles? That's how she did. She probably went in a circle and tilted it in a circle. Probably, yeah. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. So, I need to be taller. No. Just for a second. And you really have your hoodie on. Oh, she's crazy, she's crazy, she's crazy. I think I wanna add some gold. You wanna add some gold? Yeah. Which gold do you wanna add? This little powderly stuff. No. Oh, 007. Mm -hmm. It's not available. I just want to. Um, 
I've lived in Texas for probably over 25 years now. You said 25 years when we first met, so you're probably rolling on 30. Well, yeah, Austin is 25, and I moved here two years before he was born, so 27 years. Swipe that. Swipe that. Get your swipe on. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. I'm from Kansas and she is originally from Florida, uh, but also from Alabama. I need more clear out here. Look how fun that is. There's nothing to glide on up here. <laughs> What? Nothing. Liar. Okay. Gonna have to do another swipe. After I he is from Florida too. Be the carbon monoxide in Karen, we would love to come to, to uh, LA do a class. How fun is that? That looks fun. Nailed it. <laughs> is your uh, plug not looking at mm -mm. That's where uh, that's where Erica was born in Coco Beach. It's just really thin, I think. And the tent is probably thinning out more because of that. I would just do one big swipe. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. <laughs> Listen, it's gonna be amazing. Give me a second. Nailed it. I love that though. I need to do something with this. Yeah, it looks a little messy there, but I still think it looks great. Oh boy. She's pulling a she's pulling a me, but not tilting. She just she's like what is it called? Panicking? Must get color on. It doesn't look now. right. Look right. I can't I don't know what happened. Where are my hands? Just give me a second to think about what I'm doing. Paula Wall used to live in Fort Worth, Texas, y'all. Of course she did, because Paula Wall. Okay. So, I'm thinking about pushing the blue into this, this blue, because I like the way it's kind of glowing. Mm -hmm. That's what I love. I've always wanted to try to do it, and every time I try, 
I end up not doing it. Like I end up not wanting to do it because I think it's going to get muddy. But you just have to leave it alone. And we came up with this idea. If you guys, especially working on canvas, because canvas is very weak in the center, so it, if you heat it up a lot, <clears throat> it'll start to... Uh, you going to burn your hand there or no? If you heat it up, this. I have one plugged in to where it's not heat, so you can use that. Um, heat it up a little bit and then push it with a hair dryer, turn it on low. Or if you have another heat gun, put it on the lowest temperature, which is basically a, a very, very low heat to where you're just pushing the, the resin and not heating it up. Is this the one that you painted me, or is it this one? No, that's just air. That's heat. Unless you turn it down. No. That one doesn't have a, a nozzle on it. I just want to know why it's not really pushing. Let me see. Is that turned up? Okay, now that's just... You know what it was? It? It's still it's not like... It's really thick, babe. It's because it's cold in here. Okay. And why don't you heat that up ahead of it, too? Like... Yes. Okay. It's fun. Keep turning it because I have it on a slight tilt this way. Well, you have a small cup under here. And... I know, that's because I want it tilted. Hmm. Um, we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start selling the ATD hoodie this week. Um, we have it on the uh, here in the back. So if the ladies with the long hair will cover it up. We'll put it towards the bottom, and then on the pocket. Um, I'll probably do a couple different designs um, here in the near future, but these are the ones that we're gonna be selling. And they're only 60 bucks. Um, so we have a poll on our ATD's Poor People page if you'd like to go and give your opinion on what kind of sweatshirt, what size, what color. Or I'm sorry, hoodie. Japanese studios getting ready for the first one. The first art fair. Definitely make sure that you uh, make make small stuff to take. Make some posters. Make a lot of posters. Um, if you want, you can make you know you can make them in sets. But people love to mix and match. Um, make sure you finish the backs of them because I do turn them over and look at a lot, all of them. Um, sell them for like five bucks a piece. We, we paid for our, our booth fee two years or two fairs just by selling posters. That's not even the artwork. But take a lot of stuff that people can walk away with. Um, have some big pieces up, some small pieces. You know, get, get in the range of $25 and even sell one for, you know, if you have a big enough piece for 500 because it only takes one person to buy that. Even if it's just one sell, then you've made some money. That's nice. That's a lot of work. But I'm sure they look nice. Very classy. Have you abandoned your... Man, that looks great, babe. That looks like... Um, 
it looks like the aerial view like of a really like shallow part of the sea with really deep spots in there and the bronze is just a Is it bronze or copper, baby, you used? Bronze. It's bronze. Now I want to do one with just these and do just a big swipe over it all. Any discount codes available? Do we have any? Will you pull up the website? Actually, it may be open. Um, hold on, I'm going to answer this question. Um, somebody just asked me a question on spray paint. Let me look at that real quick. Um, Tia, Jeff, I would love experimenting and learning with spray painting. What would you recommend for a spray paint gun and tool? Spray painting or airbrushing? It sounds like you want to do some airbrushing. Um, and I always recommend the uh, Iwata Eclipse. Um, I don't know what you want to do with it. Um, you can email us and we can try to send you some uh, a list of supplies and what you would need. Uh, yeah, all right, airbrushing. Yeah, just email us and. Uh, we can definitely get you some a supply list. I hope that's right. I want to try to do an experiment with uh, nothing but grays, maybe some, uh, maybe some silver, or maybe some just like a, what do you call it, um, just like an iridescent, and do, do I a, like this and gold? do a board, and use the airbrush to to make a moon effect, like divots, just like take the airbrush and just like, psh, psh, and just do air, so it kind of blows out different size of, I think that would look amazing. Do I like this gold in here? Oh, I love it. Do, but do you see the gold? Oh, gold. Um, yeah. I, I think it makes it just kind of pop a little bit. All your... Here's all your... bronze <laughs> on, the, on the paper. So you think I should add more of the gold? No. I would just leave it just because all of this looks so good. I don't you just you don't want to interrupt any of that. I don't want to done that. Well it was a color that isn't present in the rest of the piece, so I'm gonna go. But it makes it look lighter. It looks so Okay, no big deal. I can push it this way. Now it's uh, it's what, bronze or copper? <laughs> bronze. Bronze. The 
Man, that looks great, babe. Yeah. See, even just blowing on it, just it gives it a different texture. Mm-hmm. Love it, Paula Wall. So, it's not a nailed it, but I don't think I would call it a failed it either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's definitely not the same. But I'm glad I tried it. Tia, you are an awesome inspiration. Your piece is stunning. Not mad at this one. That's what it is, bronze, Paula. Here's our this from yesterday. It's, it's uh, just resins bronze. Yeah, but this didn't turn out, like it didn't set the way it looked on, on camera. Let's take people for a ride on Lucy and... This is, this is still not dry. Lucy in the sky. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here, y'all. Hold the light up. This is too much. Look at that, that looks fun. Sexy. I cannot wait to go buy lights for this room. Gorgeous piece, babe. Gorgeous piece. Thanks. All right. Muy beautiful. Muy beautiful. Muy, muy. Everybody loves it. It looks like planet resin. Planet resin. Of the epoxy galaxy. That's fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm gonna go buy some damn LED lights. Is Janice in here? Janice, what kind of lights do you use in your studio? <gasps> I'm a I need, I need new lights. There's a cup under there. Thank you. 
baby it. I fell into a burning breeze of resin. I have a lot of bronze left over. We'll throw the we'll throw some coasters in if you want to buy this piece. She's crazy like that. Oh yeah, we go back to uh, we still didn't answer the person about the code. Is there, do we have a discount for that? Yeah, I need you to look it up and see. One second, y'all. the website no yeah okay. go to store coupons coupons yeah expire 10 percent off the orders um you can give them gold 10 it's for 10 percent off how do you do that? Just tell them that the code is gold10. Gold10. All right. You might want to type it in there. I'll do it. So what do we, what do we, what do we say, coupon? Yeah, we have a 10% off right now that hasn't expired. It's gold10. And it's a 10% offer. If it's I don't think it's case sensitive. Let's see here. Crazy like a fox. Hmm? Hello, Eva. Hello, Eva. Y'all for the coupon code. Thank you, Julie. Eva. E or J. I already placed my order earlier without the code. Will you still honor the? Um. I can't go back, but I can add a free color for you. If that's okay. Edward says I'm watching you on an airplane. That's awesome. <laughs> How fun is that? Make sure you show everybody on the airplane. Don't get too excited because they don't like it when people get excited on airplanes. Oh man, that's a great one. I love that. This one? No, that. One in the middle. Much beautiful. Crafty Kitty, what's your question? check out the replay yeah it's a good uh, it's a good one yeah that blue I think it has to do with the tint and the metallic and the bronze all together I'm sure it all plays off each other I'm just hot mess right now Can't. and she'll just surprise you Everything is slippery. Will you write down names so I don't forget? Oh, and Jen. All right. 
right, let's see if I can make some nonsense or some sense out of nonsense. What do we got going on right now? Scroll up, it's there. probably take about 24 hours to dry to the touch um, and then to ship you want to wait about a week because it's still a little um, malleable. malleable so you don't want to put bubble wrap or tape or set anything on it for at least a week um, to let it really set and harden up Um, Julie, it'll take about 24 hours to dry to the touch, but you don't want to set anything on it or ship it for at least a week. Hi, Linda. How are you today? Catching the very end. We pretty much did and nailed it. Well, not bad for a nailed it in one hour. I don't know if I can call it a nailed it because it didn't really look. I, I didn't say you nailed it. I just said it's a nailed version. <laughs> mm, huh. uh, yes, we are using the uh, the stone coat countertop art coat. It's great working time. I'm out of black. How many? Hello, Michelle B. Thanks for the thumbs up. How many paintings do you do you make in a day on an average? I mean, you, we could make ten if we wanted. We can. It really just depends on what our day's like. Um, I mean, if we had to, we could. If we have a show coming up, or an art fair, or craft. Like Deep Elm Art Festival, we uh, we can we can put out a, quite a bit of uh, material. Well, Tia, we hope it's sunny. I think it's going to be sunny on Sunday, <laughs> so you might have to wait till Sunday to get a good uh, to get a good picture or video. Hopefully, the weather's nice tomorrow. We're supposed to go to the fair tomorrow. You know, Texas. It, it all is the seasons in one day. All the seasons in one day. These are just a hot mess. Maybe I can do something amazing. Give me a second. Hold my beer. How big is that round? I think it's a 24. I think it's like a 24, 24 inch. Um, what is that, Daphne? Um, yeah, you can, you can push the resin around with a paintbrush, but it would just be better if you just use your hand. Um, so you're not wiping it all off. Paintbrush um, soaks up a lot of resin. Yeah, paintbrush soaks up a lot of resin and it'll push it. So I would just, I would heat it up, pour it on, heat it up, and just kind of, you know, use your best judgment on, you know, evening it out. And it'll self-level. So it'll, it'll find anywhere that it's not. And it'll, you know, it'll self-level. Um, shot glasses. Uh, I would I would just get probably a, a brush and just dip it in it and paint it on because it'll 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 find its way as well. Um, 
I would most likely maybe pour the resin in the shot glass. Um, swirl it around. Swirl it around and dump it out and just paint the sides, the outside, the, the top part. I would experiment with one just to see how that works. Uh, Crafty Kitty, we are in Dallas, Texas. We, uh, our studio is downtown. Karen, we would love to come to uh, California. I love California. We need to, we need to start hitting up some, some different cities for some classes. We'd love to travel. We'd love to come and see you guys. Yeah, that blue sapphire goes good with everything. Now we have some coasters. Maybe it's such a subtle, like. What do you need? When we do coasters, we just run our finger around the sides so that it's all covered. I'll be answering questions in just one second. Let me put these up real quick. Coupon to work. Let me check one second, y'all. Those look like six. No, they're just little four, four inch ones, I believe. Four by four. They're the small ones. Fireball Denise. Uh, gifted them to us last time she was here for a, a class. Got to go, sorry, I hope everyone has a good day. Well, thank you, Mute Swan Art. Uh, it is three in the afternoon here in Dallas, Texas. And it's all clean. Let me switch you guys over. All right. Let me look up that code real quick. Find out what's going on with it. And it's raining. So, there is upset. I'm sure they are. Isn't this the last week? 
So this is the code on ATD's website. Did I put it up wrong? I don't know. It's gold 10, no spaces. It's just gold 10. Can anyone describe the hues of Color Obsession, Blue Lagoon, and Bermuda Blue? Aaron, I actually have a video with the difference in, the, in some of those blues. Blue Lagoon is deeper and I think has more of a purple hue to it. And Bermuda Blue is more similar to the color, the bright blue that I use today once it goes over white. Uh, how strong is E6000's as I know the end piece will be heavy? E6000's very strong, but what are you trying to use it for? To like hang on the back of that? Okay, check gold 10 and see if it works because it should be good. Oh, I know it is hard to tell in pictures sometimes. Come here. So, any Come more here. questions for people that I can answer? Come here. I'll be answering Mallory, Kelly, and Jen on the notes that we took today. Anything else, y'all? I've cut some rounds out of 1 8 inch MDF. How would you suggest I attach a picture hanger? It's quite thin. I'll see him gluing the piece. Mm, 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 mm. All right. I will just start a new one. All right, I just reinstated ATD fam, so that should work. ATD FAM. So that works for our website. If you buy Stone Coat, then use the code ATD in all capitals. Okay. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Hey Cheryl, I'm sorry about not getting the YouTube notifications. I don't know what the deal is. I will. Okay, listen, somebody was telling us, um, somebody left a comment <clears throat> saying that there's a little envelope or there's something that the notification bell or something in and around that area, apparently. And if you click on it, if you can find it, it's a notification saying you wanna be notified, you know, every what every two videos every once in a while you know never or, or all the time so you have to look for that apparently i've i've never seen it but somebody said it's there so we'll try to look it up and we'll put a video out on how to use that yeah atd is for the stone coat website if you want to get the resin that we use use that code and it will get you thirty dollars off your eighty dollar order which makes your total fifty dollars yeah, first some stone coat. Amazing art coat. Doris, did you just send that or was it like last week? I'll answer them all today anyways. Anyways, read all these things. I swear that's the, that's the, the hype word for him. And, um... Even if you don't have, like, the notification. Thank you, Dolores. That's what she nope. said. <laughs> there we go. I really appreciate it. Um, it's next to subscribe, apparently. Um, have you ever done a slush pour to make a hollow shell with the resin you use? Can you send me more information on a slush pour? This is our email address, and I will look it up and do one for you guys. Um, yeah, read all these things, join our group. Absolutely, Doris. And um, I'm going to go check emails and send out orders. When you hit the bell, the option box will pop up at the bottom to make your choices on how often you want to be notified. Oh, well, there you go. Um, so, yeah, i got to take him out. He's going to pee on my feet, I swear. 
Um, we will see you all next time. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in and seeing what we are up to. Talk to you all later. Bye. I said bye.